And they give him man Windows from 95. It's annoying, man, bro. Windows from 95? Yeah. What do you mean? As in actual Windows? Or Windows well, you, you, you boys, you boys can figure out. You boys can figure out. No, no we, we can't. can't. No. <laughs> We're talking about roads. <laughs> you said they got Windows 95. They're giving us Windows 95. They're giving us Windows from 95. He's talking about Windows, like the, the computer thing. So why would you say Windows 95? But they're giving us Windows from 95. How many Windows are there? You man think he's a full human? Boys, Lippy um, couldn't make Filthy a few weeks ago because he had uh, COVID in his nose from an elbow. You got elbowed? In a match? Yeah, nah, yeah, I got elbowed, but then I got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, like a, yeah, it was like a double, he had COVID on his arm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lippy, have you ever been on camera with Hamza before? I don't think so, you know. I remember I said I knew him when he was going crazy on Twitter and they said, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, cool, isn't it? My bad. Hamza was, he was trending yeah, he this was summer, bro. Yeah, he was crazy. This summer was yours, bro. It's that, it's, 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 it's Savage Dan. But bro, it's nothing to do with me. Half them clips is with you. Nah. Well, I, Dan? I, I was done from when my dad came to me and said, someone, a young Somali boy came to me and said, are you Hamza's dad? And he asked him, like, how do you know? It's like the description he gave. <laughs> it looks like you. Because my dad's got the blue eye, as I said on the thing. Oh, wow. It's blue. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't say it was blue. He didn't say it was blue before. Hey, dad's got one blue eye. He said he got one eye. He didn't say it was blue. It's blue, bro. Or oh, is dad wearing contact lenses now? <laughs> um, Miles has ordered delivery for the first time today. Ever? Not here. Not ever. What do you mean? You were like, when did they take payment? Where do you put the address? And what, is, is this the right address? How uh, well, does this work? Obviously, the, the address of residence. Has anyone got any codes? The address was, yeah, yeah codes is, come on. <laughs> who do you think, who do you think is going to give you your first black card? Um, I'd like one from Nando's. Well, he wears that Popeye's hat every winter. But you don't want a Popeye's black card. Why? Because Popeye's ain't bad. It's going to kill you. It's all fried. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but everything is bad though, man, really. Nando's, you can actually do it. Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah, grilled, yeah. it's grilled. Yeah. yeah. You could just go there and have a salad yeah, or whatever it is. Tell you what, anyone, I get it, like, it's a cliche. Everyone says Nando's. Americans come here, they get Nando's. It's like, it's a cheeky Nando's. It's an essex -y thing, whatever. There's a reason it's a cliche, and it's because it's world-class. It's, it's sick, man. And it does the job, yeah, 100%. Price has gone up, though. Yeah, yeah. so it's not Price cheeky, no. gone up. Yeah. Honestly, what's the McDonald's now? Like five, seven, nine. Six pounds, yeah, that's a shocker. Especially on it's Just Six pounds for a meal. So sick, no. oh, and Just Eat. You got to order more just to get the free delivery. Wait, you you use Just Eat? No, no, he's Oh, just yeah, that's because he lives <laughs> in Swansea. Just Eat or Deliveroo? Just Eat, you know. Uber what colour are they? They come in orange high visibility jackets. <laughs> Bro, they come in Deliveroo crumbs. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> they come in pizza. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're ashamed, bro. <laughs> Yeah, shit, coming in a UPS, UPS van. The man will laugh wings. at each other, you know. What, you work for delivery? Uh, no, nah, you work for... Now nah, they all work for just the same eat. companies, isn't it? Yeah, they yeah. just, no, they they just turn the app on. They just turn the app on, app on yeah. It's not like that. There's some, there's some, Hamza will tell you because <laughs> me and Hamza were, you trust me, 135 <laughs> jobs. It wasn't delivery, but he'll tell you, yeah. Some places like Just Eat, they will have their own thing set up. Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, but, 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 but you know the way that they're doing it, bro? It will be like, Six man off one app, bro. Yeah, like it's that got one it person booming. that's got the work. Yeah, he's got the one phone. It's a line. 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 They're stop. They're stopping that though, right? On first of Jan, that's all going to be stopped. How how did they how do they stop that on first of Jan? And what they're going to do is they're going to be integrated in the apps now. So basically, anyone that's got Deliveroo or Uber Eats, because you could open up a Deliveroo account and I can rent it to anyone. Oh really? With Deliveroo, I'm allowed to do that. Oh really? Does that make sense? And I don't need to get taxed. So the money that comes in from that person, I just send it to them. Now that's taxable. Okay. So from the first of Jan, all a like, lot of riders are going to lose their job. Oh, that's sad. This is why we got Hamza on the show, man, because he's just dropping gems on us, boy. Is that a gem? Logistics. HMRC are coming for every penny yep. right now. Every they want one. it. <laughs> Anyone think they're getting away with something right now? Enjoy it. They're coming for you. Well, HMRC aren't coming for you. <laughs> HMRC don't even know you exist. <laughs> that's the best way to do it, man. Stay under the radar. <laughs> HMRC. Miles is sick because Miles actually behaves like he's 25, not 35. Mm -hmm. It's cold. He says he's going to have <laughs> three kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen. <laughs> when you're in your late 20s, boy, you could do that. Uh, you probably. Yeah. Um, you, got, you got a new. You bought a new phone, Miles? Yeah, I got a new iPhone 15. <laughs> 
Why yo? That's a new phone. That's a new phone. That's a Samsung now, Ruby. <laughs> what happened to that? Welcome to a Filthy Five bonus episode. These are always good, and that's why we got Hamza because Hamza is probably the biggest football fan I know. <laughs> 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 so I didn't want to waste like he's, he shouldn't be introduced to the crowd do you know who he supports no Al-Nassar oh really Al-Nassar really I don't even know who that is <laughs> man said I don't know who that is bro oh, you're Saudi oh you're sorry a, oh, my Saudi <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Hey, right, this guy, you're on some joke thing, uh, man. I, 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 was, I thought that was a manager the way he said that. But I'm going to introduce the panel from my right to my left. He's back. He's cleared COVID protocol. Mm-hmm. Um, he threw in a two-footed challenge this weekend. He was one-footed. Saw that. Was I was one-footed, but it was one trailing leg. We get sent off? Nah. No. No, no. One five one, playing against Lumos' his cousin. Your, your watch alongs are sick, by the way. I watched the one with Slim. P45, that was that was a joke. Oh, so I did, that was some very funny clips. Yeah, that was that. funny. LV bro. General didn't like it. Who? LV General. Oh yeah, Slim said, who's that? Where's he from? So did I. One rapper, one rapper. Yeah, one rapper. Wait, is a rapper now? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. But is that, that's, just, that's not him for real though. Is that a banner? Because surely. He's done two tracks. Nah, it's for real. But he hasn't done two tracks. He's done two shouts. None of those are tracks. Anyway, next on the panel. He's still here. Don't worry, guys. He's not gone to Jamaica yet. He has been on AFTV a lot recently. Yeah, though, well, given his recently. given his thoughts, but given yeah. his little opinions about Arsenal. They're not little. It's all good, guys. Arsenal going to win the league. His name's Lumos, aka Marcus. I didn't say that though. Do you believe it? <laughs> Your name's Marcus. Yeah. <clears throat> Ask him why. <clears throat> Yo, why is, his name, why is his name Marcus? Obvious. Why Marcus why Garvey. Marcus, yeah. Because of Marcus Garvey. Huh? Why Lumos? It's just, I used to. I wanted to be a DJ when I was younger. So I needed a name. I went DJ Lumos. Marcus Lumos. Next on the panel, the debut of the iconic, the legendary, the garage dweller, not garage music (laughs) maker. (laughs) Hamza. The garage dweller. Nice to meet you lot. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Nice. Salam. 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 Next on the panel, he's got a new iPhone. He's going to have three kids. And he wants you to know he's, 2058. he's really happy that you are going to be coaching. His name's Miles, a.k.a. Miles Fierro, a.k.a. Do you get coaching stuff, man? Yeah, yeah, no, you should really do it. No, it's really good, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good, you should do it. Yeah, Danny Simpson, man, keep that up, man. Trust me, that coaching, that's your, that's your lane. That's your story now, the coaching. This guy is so... Yeah. A.k.a. AKA Walls, a.k.a. the best looking guy on YouTube. Oh, listen, I spoke to my uncle. I messaged him. Which one? Uh, Corey. D- Corey, Coronation yeah. Street. I said, Uncle Ray, it's time. He said, yeah, shout me. You got Uncle Ray as well? I've got Uncle Ray. Everyone's got Uncle, Uncle Ray. Uncle Ray, yeah. yeah. Every black you man. Were, you were shouting him at the time and he said, shout me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I said, yeah, we're going to set up a meeting. And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. we need to. What, on Zoom? <laughs> where, where's the meeting, on Zoom? Uh, probably be on FaceTime. You could have done it like, then. Because he don't live in the country at the moment. He's not, he's not in the country. He don't live in the country. So Where's he living? Uh, uh, yeah. Was it, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hold on, <laughs> it's not LA. It's not LA. Wherever it is, it's he not LA. He doesn't live here. His location's not in London. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. be yeah. yeah. Las Vegas, one of them. Got, yeah. So yeah, got a new phone. So new content coming back. Coming back. New t- content coming back. Next on the panel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, Twitch is here now. I've started it. I started last night. New cods out, innit? So I might just banging cod. <laughs> So Twitch, man, get twitchy. Get twitchy. Yeah. But anyway, next on the panel, PK Humble. Next on the panel, he settled down this summer. He slowed down. He just went to Jamaica twice. <laughs> that's, that's not slow. That's, that's not summer down. down. It's a been, it's been a calm summer for me. I slowed down Jamaica twice. Where else did I go this summer? Went New York, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Football, I've, football, good. I've been. What do you mean football, football? No, that's good. You was going for like good reasons, not to. No, go I went to New York. I went New York just to go to New York. Was he with, who was you with? He was there and Turk was there. <laughs> <laughs> our dads? Huh? Is that is he talking yeah, about our dads? Our dads was there as well. He's talking about um what's his name? Amir. Man, I'm going back to work. I'm I'm back at work now. I'm looking at Twitch. I'm looking at um Getting a new phone. Nah, well, why do I need a new phone? Nah, he's got a fourteen. He's good, man. I got Pro Max and a Pro. Uh, but PK that you were saying that this year you slowed down. What yeah. did you do last year then? Because obviously, for you to slow down. I had triplets last year. No, you didn't go on the holidays last year. I had triplets. Yo, we're triplets. Talk about oh, holidays. I had triplets. I had three. I had twins and then one kid. You did what? I had twins and then I had one kid all last year. 
he's he's living your dream. They're going to the dumping ground, them kids. By the time they're 18, <laughs> like maybe 15, <laughs> you ain't gonna be around. Duke is cooking them dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'll have a nanny by then, innit? You won't be around, bro. I'll be here, man. <laughs> you better make a will for them. Anyway, his name's PK Humble. Oh, I'm humbly the first, not the second, descendant of Winston Churchill. And Marcus Garvey. <laughs> and Marcus Tarem. Mm. Next on the panel, he's had an eventful month. As far as summers go, his is ended. Nah, nowhere near it. I know the information is, fu is funneled through me. How many holidays have you had this year? Oh. <laughs> I don't know, how many have you had? <laughs> <laughs> not enough. <laughs> I was asking, I'm curious. I don't know, I don't know. You do fly a lot. You fly enough. Nah, flying's not fun though. It's not fun. I don't like flying. Uh, my life's almost over. Yes. I'll let you know when I know, when, well, yeah. I think I can return though. You reckon? I think if I've learned anything about myself is that every time something tries to slow me down, I speed up. Just don't, just don't be, don't, don't be making 2020, 2032 plans. Just remember, there are people making 2032 plans. That, that man there that yeah. you talk about, yeah. I'm, I've always said it. I've always said, I don't think he is 100% homo sapien. What's homo sapien? Human. 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 What's the other percent? I don't know. Uh, like maybe, it, uh, it's some kind of experiment. I don't know. <laughs> he's an experiment. He could be an experiment. He's a he is. I think he's been sent here to see how we, we react to other people to like, or circumstances. Everything he does is strange. Yeah. <laughs> Big body, little yeah. head. That's it, look. Boys, the other week we did a countdown of the worst Chelsea signings under Todd Bowley. And I just, uh, obviously, the only people that were on that episode, I think, were me, Miles, and Lumos. Lumos, you're getting a... appearances. <laughs> He's getting minutes, man. He's getting minutes. We're sending him to Jamaica to franchise Filthy. Yeah, but it's going to be about cricket. Okay. He's do it in Jamaica, it's going to be about cricket. Brian Lara. When are you in Jamaica? Brian Lara, yeah. Five. Weeks, four weeks. Oh, yeah, okay. Wow. But I just wanted to quickly, like, Nippy, <laughs> what are Chelsea's the three worst players signed under Tom, Bo Tom Bowley, in your opinion? The worst signings? I could still say Casado was one you of them. Say for, it, yeah. Price wise. I thought he played okay. He w yeah, he weren't bad, but just because of the price and the. Mudrick's got to be that for that then. Sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll put Mudrick in there as well. Kulubali. Aubameyang. Kulabali wasn't thing, was it? Mm -hmm. He's in from mm. the Todd Bowley. Yeah, era. yeah, yeah. It might be a Bamiyang still. Yeah, he Bamiyang didn't do anything. Stinks. He didn't do anything. So it was Kulabali on under, under Yeah, he was Kulabali. I'd say Kulabali for Mudrik then. You think Mudrik? You think Kulabali's yeah? Worse at least than Mudrik? I think Mudrik will become something. Do you? Yeah, I've, I don't think he'll be what I thought he was going to be originally, but I think I think he'll be all right eventually. Even if they move it, even if you lot move him on, you'll get the money back. I think. 100 mil? Was he 100 million? He's like near 100, yeah. I thought it was like 80 million. We was willing to pay 80, and we, then they went higher than that. Oh yeah, that's true, Dan, still. Who's, who's the worst, who the three worst? I don't know, I think I might only be able to name three good. Yeah, well I that is a great point. Um, yeah, Enzo. Who's the three good? Enzo, 100%. Good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Palmer. Palmer, 100%. Jory's out on a, I, I, I like Kase, uh, Kasai though. Kaiseido, however you want. So you think Sterling is a flop? Undeniably. No, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I think in relative to how bad their other signings have been, yeah, yeah. you can't I, I put, put him I wouldn't put Sterling anywhere guys. near some of them. He's, their be he's arguably their, their best, best attacker player. right yeah, now. Yeah, facts. Him and Palmer. Him and Palmer. Palmer is levels above yeah. Raheem Sterling But do you know what right he now. has? He's just a bit of calmness. Do you know what I back? Chelsea's problem is they're all young. No, they nothing. weren't always all young. Yeah, but now they're all they young. They were bad when they weren't all young. No, but I'm saying even when they weren't all young, they were just kind of like, sometimes a patch, Ukraine, blah, 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 whatever's going on. Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, but as in now they're all young and like excitable. You know, like that game, all it needed was a bit of a cool head and no one had it because it's just all kids. You mean the Tottenham game? Yes, yeah, it's chaos yeah. Thiago looked like an adult amongst them. Um, PK, just quickly, um, Koulibaly, Aubameyang, um, Wesley Fofana. I feel so for him. Yeah, me too, me too. I like him. 
He's good. Do, they're doing him. I, I, are, are they doing him? But it's, it's, it's his knee. My problem is, you see, when you start buying players that have a history of knee problems, unfortunately, see knees, they're not they're not even like ankles. Like knees, they're going yeah, again. Yeah, because the knees at the yeah. top and the ankles lower. Yeah, that's the so same. They're, not, they're not the same, bro. <laughs> like, like knees, the castles. knee, the knee is going again. And Boys, the Miles' ankle, deliveries arrived, but they phoned him because he forgot to put. He forgot to put. Buying players that are injured with those kind of injuries, I don't like it. Ankles, even there, like when you got a bad ankle, you can sometimes overcome it, and at least it's less time usually. Do you remember how much they paid to loan Jao Felix? Was it five? We mil? could do it for Yao Felix. Five mil. Yeah, of course you could, but mil. you can't pay to loan him. No, we should have just bought him. Of course. We he, we had because the he was good. It covered some cracks, but that that stunk. Felix is cold, yeah. and I don't know why One we let best. go of him and someone like a Mount at the same time, because that's the kind of player we're crying out for. But you know what? It's my club, but it's not my... Do you know what? I'll tell you why this is happening, because people are playing with house money. So Roman made sure most things are right, because it's his bread. Now, when you're just the, the face of an organization that is bread, you're just, you know, like, you're just, that's it. I'm going to try that. Don't, it's not your bread. And I don't like it when it's not, I don't like that. Because so now Russia we're just buying whatever. saying Russia money is the best money. I'm saying your money is the best money. You do something with your money, you'll make sure you do things right and you'll get value for your money. You do something with someone else's money, you're careless with it. And that's our problem. Right now, Chelsea are making me sad and angry and I don't give a It's difficult because it's not fun. You think having loads of young players would at least be fun and exciting, but you can't even get that right. For me, I, to win 4-1 and for me to still be fuming is mad. Hamza. What do you do think you about agree? Chelsea? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you know. To be <laughs> I haven't, I haven't watched Chelsea enough to be able to. No. To, to what about a hashtag? What do you think about hashtag season? How do you think, do you think PK's getting on? They are the stinker, man. You reckon? I gave up watching them now. I'm like not going to the games anymore. Even though they got a Somali international. They got Somali international. Yeah, but do you know what? He don't have the body. Oh, okay. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're having a debate on our group, and on this off topic. No, it's, it's on no, topic. It's, it's <laughs> on topic. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I started going to the gym. Oh, wow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and someone in that group said Somalian people, don't, even if they go to the gym or not, they won't have the shape to have that body. They're saying they even look like a few. What did he say? He said, eventually. They're going to have hips like Shakira. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> or, or what was that? I think the uber belly. Yeah, or, 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 or a big belly. Right. So I, for him to say the hashtag guy, that guy don't have the body, even though he's a footballer. Did you have examples so, then? No, so I'm now- I'm, I'm still hunting. He's trying to moment. find like- He's hunting. <laughs> 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 that, that is he's trying to, have I ever seen a hench? Like, has find has find anyone seen a hench Somali or like a- I've seen, a I've seen Somali one. Or I've seen one. Yeah, I've got a few in my gym, man. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I mean my, where I live is a very Somali area, so yeah, I, I definitely have, yeah. So would, would you would you agree that we can become sort of built? You've got you've got human bodies with muscles, you can become built, yeah. Hundred percent. Some people are denying that we can't. They're saying it's not possible. <laughs> it's very possible. <laughs> That's the thing, like with with like Nigerians, they come like almost like just built already. Yeah, ready, you know what I'm ready, saying? Like, it's weird. Ready made, like, just, ready like, just like already got muscles, like for no reason. Obafemi Martins. Well, well, look, there, there is of course Anis Nur. Shout out Anis Nur. He's 26. He's from Bermondsey. He played for Ballam, then Tooting and Mitchin, Hamwell Town, Westfield, Hartley Whitney, Whitney, Cray Wanderers, Hendon, and he now plays for Metropolitan Police. Yeah, so I'm saying that like, he's just done the he's just done the rounds. He's just done the rounds. Like half those teams, yeah. Westfield. Now, nah, but man, follow, I follow. I follow one. I follow one Twitter account. Some Somali athlete. Somali account. athlete. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Now nah, they followed it. man. They're my dogs. They're my dogs. But they um they post. They like update with all like the Somali footballers all over the world and most of them are young in it it's under 18 so, but in Sweden there's a lot there's of them barely. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, see this Ali Musa one plays for yeah. Sweden one plays for the national team now he plays on the like wing East now African. He's, and he's Eritrean but he's East African though I'm saying yeah, yeah. but you can't just now put in put in a whole continent well, I don't know why you or area together yeah, because he's a pro <laughs> so he's the most closest thing to East Africa East well, Africa. we're not talking East Africa we're talking just Somalia yeah I could, that's that's fine but I'm just saying it's like they say it's close it's not no it's close Close, but it's not close it enough. enough. It's not. Yeah, it's not close enough. But it's it's, it's getting there. <laughs> they're, they're, they're next in line. 
He's trying to be the, pri- the president of Somalia. He, he, he could be. You reckon? I think I could make it all the way to the top, man. Especially in Somalia, the way it is, definitely there's hope. Them al Qaeda youths will pressure you, though. What do you mean? The al Qaeda youths. It doesn't matter about them. Why? That, right, because, because at the mo- at the moment they're gonna pressure people that are not from the same tribe as them. So if they're the same, if they're from the same tribe as me, why would they pressure me? So what, all of them are from your tribe. I said preference. preference. <laughs> 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 you defy the choice. <laughs> I don't want to deny no, I don't know. <laughs> He's being very political Preferably. right now, man. He's the sickest answer I've ever heard. <laughs> that was so political. That was so political. That was cold. Preferably, Preferably yo. It's interesting because Smiley is such a significant part of like London and a lot of parts of this country, but as a, as a nation itself, it's not exporting that much other than the people to different countries no but he's, he's got the channel in it that's the only thing what channel one of them oh, one the red sea yeah it's got oh, one no, of them they're busy over there yeah, yeah. Right, they there's a lot there. there's a there's a lot of money that is can be made in somalia but there's specific countries and people that don't want that to happen because they know that if somalia becomes good they're going to lose a lot more money preferably by your tribe <laughs> <laughs> no neither deny neither accept <laughs> <laughs> I, he definitely doesn't know what preferably means. I said means. deny or accept. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't know what preferably means. <laughs> <laughs> Lippy, man, you've been away. I have, man. Yeah? How, how is you like living in the suburbs? How is that adjustment, man? I'm going to have to make a similar Do you adjustment. you know what it is? The people are different. There's different creatures, bro. Oh. there's d- Yeah, bro. Because where like I raccoons. live, is, it's a rural ends. Nah, like different insects, beetles that the man them, you don't, you ain't seen these beetles. Like, the no, beetles, imagine, in the, no, imagine that like, recently, cause it's like, obviously it's like autumn now, innit? Brother, I've woken up the other day and I've just seen bare like orange things flying around like, I'm like, what the hell is that? Obviously outside. And when I've gone outside to bun one now, it's, it's ladybirds, bro. Hey, I had two in my car the other day. So when I've, I'm chatting to someone, I heard someone speaking about it. So I said, yeah, I'm man, right off my whip. I heard someone on the phone, like, a lady that I knew. So I said, so what's going on? Mary? She's like, oh yeah, because of the damp. Like we get them every year. Mm. Like, what do you mean we get them every <laughs> year? Like, what the, f- <laughs> what the f- is this? Where, you live in a living? damp area. A area's damp. But you like, you like observing animals. Yeah, yeah, man's an animal man, so. I don't like ladybirds and Speaking that, about though. animals, I was watching, um, who went out and fight a lion, a bear and a, and a, uh, what's it, lion being a gorilla? And they're saying that the lion is, is the guy. He's going to be we'll a, beat a gorilla. Yeah, beat a gor- yeah the, the gorilla was lost. Yeah, gorilla. The lion, what the kind bear. Of, what kind of bear? Is it? The lion, the bear? bear, and the gorilla, yeah. Really? Not a polar bear. Not a polar Where bear. Where are they fighting? Not a polar bear. Just, just on the that's flat the thing. Surface. The guy said that's, the, that's, another, that's another big part of it. It's a terrain, obviously, is a big part of it. But he said the gorilla has no chance. Polar bear smacking out anything. No, nah, it was a grizzly. They put grizzly bear. They put grizzly bear. But why? Why? I thought a gorilla is super mad strong. Or it is, but it's, it's, it ain't got claws, in it? He said, just, he said, I'm just going to just set the table a little bit. Who's he that said this? Oh, <laughs> I love how you... Uh, do you know what? We should have fo- we should have focused on who was telling this story. No, because story. you know what it is? The guy, the guy who was actually the guy who was actually John yes, Z- John Zanahar. Yes, 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 him. He's actually a UFC um trainer. So he's got world champions under his um Now this is going far left. <laughs> <laughs> it's a YouTube channel called Lex Clips that I've got, and it's John Danaher and Lex Fridman yeah. discussing who wins. Lex this Fridman, fight. he's a UFC he's a UFC yeah, trainer. So so is it their opinion? Is it their opinion? Yeah, but he's he's an expert on um on on UFC. No, on uh, animals. animals. So animals is Lippy. Well. So Lippy, who wins? <laughs> what? That? No, it's right. It's right. No, he's actually listen. If you w- listen, you listen to it. He's actually. Well, I'm not gonna listen to it now. Yeah, but he's actually he's actually a trained expert on like animals. He's yeah, not so is to- Lippy. I know every animal scuff. I know the answer, bro. A bear, a lion, or a gorilla. Who wins that? Uh, a bear versus a uh, a lion. Lion. A lion is the one. Yeah, the lion is the For one. the agility reasons. This, this video with John Tanner and Alex Fridman, I've got no reason to doubt it. It's got 1.137 million views. Miles has seen it. It just came up on my algorithm. Um, it's a guy in a suit, a black suit with a black tie, yeah. talking to a guy in a, a bald guy in an Under Armour base layer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's saying, he's saying, okay, he's saying, they, they get, obviously the terrain matters. So they said, let's give it like a, a plane. Terrain field. does matter. Yeah, so he's saying, if it's in a UFC cage, they're just saying hypothetical. Oh, yeah. No, no, a bear and a, and a lion are in a UFC, a UFC cage. I'm putting the bear 
the bear and the, and the gorilla has to be top. No, 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 no. Listen, I tell you why the gorilla's not top. The, the gorilla's lost, and I thought the gorilla would have been up there, but it's lost because the gorilla is it's got more weight than a bear, it's got more weight than a lion, and it's 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 more heavier than a bear as well. Yeah, uh, uh, a silverback gorilla, silverback gorilla. Yeah, cool. So you said if it was a UFC, if it was a close proximity like in here, a bear would win because on because endurance, the bear it's got more endurance than a lion. <laughs> But what about their weapons? Like, as in, I'm gonna, we're gonna get to that. He said, if it's a lion, it's the lion's got the better. He's got, he's got more the weapons. He's got more the weapons. He's got, he's got four. He's got four claws. He's got teeth. He's got a better bite. He's, he's got, got a good bite. He's got a good bite. And also, what, what, what? Like he can't punch. No, no, but the punch. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm saying, like, for example, like a gorilla can bite nah, and nah, punch. No, no, no. But, but no, no. The reason why, the reason why, the reason why. You're, one sec, one sec. Red. The reason why you're off because of a gorilla can't do a full ball fist. It can't do a fist. But they could slap hard. Yeah, but that's not gonna do. Come, that's not gonna. That's not. That's not good enough compared to a lion. And also, what a lion Lions does. Lions can't slap or punch. They can slap uh, Simba. Yeah. So gorillas, when they fight, they just fight other gorillas. They just fight off other gorillas. They don't fight anything. They don't really come into any conflict. Same with bears. They they fight like little yeah, but buffaloes. Lions fuck they, everything. Yeah, they fight buffaloes. They fight. They fight lions. They fight each other. But they usually death. don't fight one on one. Who lions? Lions. Like they do, bro. If they get caught slipping, they yeah, fight, yeah, it's what, bro. They, they fight for the pride, innit? They fight a next male lion will challenge the next male lion, and then that's it. They, so they fight to the death. So they say the lion is well equipped to beat any one of them. They're saying based off. They're actually saying it seems like you're saying that based off experience. Like one's been at world championship level, so. But it is, that's what it is because it is a lion experience. is prepared. Because like. It's a meaty fight, gorillas, compared to lions. Yeah. Like, it's just a quick little, like, they're intelligent. They're not trying to rip each other apart like that. He said, he said, he said, they, and it's, this is, this is fact, this has been known to, this is this, this, this documented. Leopards have beaten gorillas because they figured out there's an artery in a, in, a, in a gorilla's leg that they bite, they leave it to bleed it's out, and they kill it, yeah. What about a tiger versus a lion? Tiger. A ti tiger will smack up a lion. Oh, they didn't say that, they didn't say, yeah, they are bigger though. What's tiger, the one with the hair? That's a, lion. Oh, that's a lion. That's a mane. The lion. The tiger's the one that's got different yeah. stripes and that, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw a tiger in Thailand. What am I talking about? When I went to Thailand, I saw But he said the, 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 he said the lion. I thought, I, thought it was a, I thought a gorilla had a chance. He said the gorilla has no chance because all he's got to do is bite. Bro, the monkeys in India, they rob you and that. No, but hear this though. A man try to fight back. Bro, how can the monkey jump on his shoulder and rip his head off? Pull his hair, but because it's so strong, gee, it's pulled the man's whole scalp off. Oh. I swear to God. What are they, they baboons? One time, the small thing. So he got alopecia. He <laughs> left him with alopecia. <laughs> but that same guy, funny enough, you said a, a, you said a fully grown chimp would be any, any man. Relax yourself. It'll be any man, any human on this nah, planet. Bro, bro, bro. Hey, you know how hench chimps are? Fully grown chimp. A fully grown chimp. Chimp. Yeah, a chimp I heard shrimp. Oh, is it? Well, you clean your ears then. Right. Can I see what I've got here? Yeah, because it's this is disagree. This is disagreeing with what Miles are saying. It says, uh, elephant is the strongest brute strength, strongest land animal. Yeah, could be. Yeah, definitely. But ultimately, I could, I could see that they're, they're going with. They say we believe the odds are in a gorilla's favor if it was fighting a tiger. What? what? I don't hear that. That's not ChatGBT though. Nope, that's EarthLifeExpeditions.com. Just, just quickly, what animals they got in Somalia? This guy's funny, you know. He's on ChatGBT, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's on ChatGBT. Bro. What's it saying? It's saying it's unethical to answer this question. Is there lions in Somalia? Well, you can do workarounds if you what, say what, like it's what, for a movie. What animals script. you got in Somalia, Hamza? Um, camels. That's our big one. Goats. We transport a lot of goats to Saudi Arabia. Any, and have you got any fighting animals? Like animals that fight. Their dogs, have you seen their dogs? Their dogs are skinny. There's a hyenas in. in yeah, there's hyenas in. There's hyenas in. Yeah, big hyenas. Hyena, yeah, hyena. big hyenas. Oh, that one there's scary. I'm gonna so there I'm must be somewhere. lions then? There is lions, yeah. Yeah, there's if, lions. There's, if there's lions. I got no... chased once by a giraffe. And they're on some smoke. I'm telling you, serious smoke. The neck is flagging. Yeah. I'm in a car. I'm not running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a car. I'm in a car. Have you seen, there's enough. a video on Twitter that of a of a giraffe chasing well, in, like, expedition that thing. thing. Yeah. What yeah. is a giraffe fast? So what's he doing? He was just walking around. In Africa, you, like in Somalia, we have one main road and then we have side roads. So these side roads are in the sand, in the middle of the desert and stuff mm. like this. So when you're going to smaller communities, so if you have a big city, let's say now you have a big city and then you've got a smaller city. The smaller city is maybe two hours journey, but it could be an hour journey. But you don't know what could happen. Hey, this story is rubbish. <laughs> this story is rubbish. It's a two hours journey, but it could be an hour journey. journey. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted a giraffe. I, he didn't, he didn't mention a giraffe once. Rubbish. No giraffe. No giraffe. No giraffe. Yet. Just journey. <laughs> you're getting sat nabs. You're getting chased. The way. Imagine there's only one road. But then there's lots of side roads. 
<laughs> he didn't mention the giraffe once. No, but that's true though. It's only one road. And they're not in the desert. You know. So they only got one M25. There's not M11. Yeah, there's, there's no M25. motorway. There's no nothing uh, like that. Jamaica had road. that at a point. Most African countries, third world countries are like that though. They ain't got a lot of roads that are interconnected. Like, That's it's just why one. the Chinese are showing up. Yeah, the Chinese are here in Jamaica. Yeah, what? Chinese people are building their infrastructure. Yeah. They, they're, they're the ones that built that one road in Somalia. Yeah. And they're giving man windows from 95. It's annoying, man, bro. Windows from 95? Yeah. What do you mean? As in actual windows or windows well, you, 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 boys, you boys can figure out. You boys can figure out. No, no we, we can't. Really can't. <laughs> We're talking about roads. Yeah, you said they got Windows 95. They're giving us Windows 95. They're giving us Windows from 95. That makes sense. <laughs> you Are you talking about Windows? They're giving us Windows. You're talking from about Windows, like the the computer thing. So why would you say Windows 95? But they're giving us Windows from 95. How many windows are there? You man think he's a full human? It was it was a perfectly structured sentence. It was a per, it was a perfectly it was, one second one second. <laughs> it was a perfectly structured <laughs> sentence. Lumos, you're from Jamaica. You live in Jamaica. Where when are the windows from? I think most of the OSs would be at minimum XP. Yeah. What's OS? Operating system. I think we're all running on seven by now. Seven. By now. Windows Vista, now nah, they're on Windows Vista. Windows Vista, Vista, Vista was cold. That was here for a day. Vista was cold. Vista was the worst. Vista was the worst. Who made that? It wasn't Steve Jobs that made Vista. That's Windows. It was Bill, uh, Bill Clinton. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. <laughs> yeah. You know that Bill Gates don't even do code like that. I didn't know that. Like he, <laughs> neither did, neither did Steve Jobs. <laughs> nah, but Steve Jobs is different. Like everyone, oh, Steve Jobs more of a visionary died. kind of thing. Just like who's the one? In, who's the one? Who's got an electric chair? That's Stephen Hawkins. He died, didn't he? He died. He yeah, he's dead. He's done. What is he? Which one is he, though? He was a uh, astrophysicist. Is that right? What? So why is he known like that? What do you? Because he's a genius, like super genius. Yeah, he's a super genius. But who are, who else is a super genius from our century? Who else is a super genius from our century? That's a great question. In the last twenty-four years. Would you say Elon Musk? No. Well, this well, as in what century? Look, from twenty twenty. The hundred no, years from now to hundred years. What back. makes you a super genius? Stephen Hawkins was saying that he's a super He has to be. He has to be. Let's be honest, most, most of the geniuses we probably will never hear of. Because unless, unless you've got a robot that can talk for you, we don't know Stephen Hawking. The geniuses are off doing genius stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You see, sure Stephen you Hawking know. might not be a genius. Who's invented then? something that's like, crazy, not an innovation. Whoever invented the flash power mop. Genius. That is genius. There's genius moments, but does it make you a genius? No, it doesn't. But there's man that created bare things, you know. Like things that we really, like the light bulb, whoever did the light bulb. But then, they, you know, we've been getting booky light bulbs ever since. You know, there's a light bulb that's like a hundred years old, more. But they said, they got together and they said, this is too good. We well, can't. Tesla then? Because they was we trying to make it. But yeah, we can't produce this. Uh, no one's ever going to need to buy it more than once. Let's make them sh So then now they're sh like, even a light bulb now is kind of good value for money. Like, last <laughs> <of> a year. <laughs> oh, it's a lot longer than that. No, nah, you gave three, four years out of a light bulb. That's good. Well, you get three you, years out of a light bulb. Yeah. 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 Those energy saving bulbs. 100%. I used to open the light bulb and then put my finger in there and get electric shot. I done that by accident once. You know, he used to do it for fun. Yeah. Me, my brother, my sister. <laughs> my, co my cousin yeah. took my cousin took a live wire from a computer once. He was we were building a computer, and he put the wires into the wall socket. What? And he just flew back. Oh, that's from Jurassic Park. That's from Bear Movie. <laughs> that's from Jurassic you Park. Know, yeah, you went flying back. Yo, let go, let go. I can't. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Donnie was gone, boy. He flew. We must saw it live in the flesh. We went, we went past Scientology Church. Yeah. They, listen, they're taking this. They're they're taking this seriously. Well, they're, they're, that's not that's nothing to do with science, by the way. Scientology. Is it nothing? Is, no. They just no. took the word. They just took the word. My aunt is that. My mum's sister. Yeah, my mum's sister. My mum's life. My mum's life. I don't know. She's crazy, bro. No, but what is a Scientologist then? If it's nothing to do it's with like science, they believe in like. In like some kind of, it's like an alien kind of sci-fi Tom Cruise. And it's, it's Tom Cruise. Yeah. It is Tom Cruise, right? He's yeah. the one. Yeah, I think they believe in Tom Cruise. And Tom Cruise <laughs> preaches to them. And Brother, well. my aunt, he Bro, he's in got Tom a film Cruise. where he can't die. Like, he keeps reliving the film. You know, he's like five foot six. Yeah. yeah. That's why they worship him. That's why they worship him. Scientology is a religion founded by L. Ron Hubbard, who is a sci-fi writer. And he took one of his sci-fi books and built a cult. I shouldn't say that because they will come for me. 
um, around they ain't, they ain't one of us. Yeah, if they uh, well, we're here, innit? They got plants everywhere. It's about energies, and it's about uh, a spaceship that's gonna come back and collect all the I, energies. I hear some of the people. things they say, but just could not the spaceship be, stuff. Could they just yeah, hear me out? Just be Christians, but like futuristic ones. <laughs> like, <laughs> their, their doctrine has a lot of um, shady language in it that allows them to be very controlling and yeah because what you just said there seemed pretty much like yeah someone's gonna is there, is someone come from the sky it's just like they just put they just put like a spaceship on it instead well, there's a South, I'm surprised you haven't seen the South Park episode about it you remember when Isaac Hayes uh, chef had to leave because they made jokes about Scientology and he said you gotta get out the show so they did a whole episode about him and it was about I'm not even going to say because that rule gets struck down on YouTube. But there's a great South Park episode explaining Scientology. I need this. Is that better than Boondocks? That, remember, remember Sky One back in the day, yeah? The show with the black man with the ting on his head. Future Stargate. No, nah, Stargate. Yeah. Something. That's basically that, bro. They're basically saying that like, Jesus and everyone is just an alien. Hamza, if you could go back to any age, what age would you go back to? 21. Why? What were you doing? <laughs> he had the answer. I just he finished university the... and I'm about to go to America. Do a whole month there. Did you do that? Yeah, for the best time of my life. Oh, really? Where did you go? Bro, I went from New York to Washington to Virginia, then flew over to, I think it was Las Vegas, done a little bit of San Francisco, and then LA, back to England. Sounds like a normal week for you. Yeah, it does sound like a hamster week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a hamster week, boy. What was your favorite? What was your favorite state out of all of them? Out of all of them. Ohio. Do you know what, to be fair with you, I didn't like none of it. <laughs> what? So why do you want to go back there? Anyone. Anyone. <laughs> <laughs> it was the movies, isn't it? It's everything I saw in the movies. When you go there, it's not the same. It's not the reality I So why did be. you go back in time to 21? Why are you going Bro, there? I only went back now when I was 30. I never oh, went back. No, after. I asked you. Why if would you, you could go, go back, back to that? Oh, because at that time I was so happy. Like, I just finished university. The stress. <laughs> hate <laughs> hate is a time. That was the but best time. It was like the gap between finishing one. university and getting on the plane was the best week of his life. No, my thing is 21 years of like education, constop, like do this, make sure you. Was a constop. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was. It was like a breather for me. Like I knew from that day I'm a free man, in, in my family. Too free. Yeah. Too free. Where would you go back to if you go back in time? What Any point age? in your life? What age? I'd say 1997. I would like go to- That's not an age. What? <laughs> that's a year. <laughs> that's 1997, that's one year old. <laughs> okay. I will go back and just relive my life. What, just, it, yeah. Just well, live a different life. You're not going back for a moment, you're going back to just restart. Yeah, just restart. Oh, oh I'm going back to a moment or I'm going back to relive my life. <laughs> I'm going back to relive my life. I'm just going to do everything. The just, same? Di nah, just different. Because I've done it the same now. Okay. I've done this life. So maybe, <laughs> maybe I want to be an astronaut in the, you know the other one. You know the games where you get two options, you can be good or bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, I actually can do something different. Instead of making the papers at Colchester, you actually keep nah, your head I won't down even play train. I won't even play football at all. I play cricket instead or something. It's true. Tennis. Yeah. Nah, not tennis. What what sport is like? Golf. A lot of money in that. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah big yes. money in golf. Big golf, money. Tennis. Nah, but not a lot of. F one. Tiger Woods. Yeah. F one. That's a big one. F one. That's what I feel it's like. like hard, it's hard go to get into though. Go karting. Just go kart. Golf. You just need. <laughs> golf. You just need a golf club. <laughs> Lippy, you could go back to any point in your life. No, I was thinking. If you were a it. super jellyfish. I wouldn't go back to any age. What what I'll do. My only regrets in life, yeah, are football mistakes that I've made. So if I could go back, <laughs> go. no, because no, because you know, you know how it is. Every football mistake you make, it's not like, oh my gosh, what what should I have done? Is like you know exactly what you should have done. So if man was to go back to every single like vital moment mistake, I probably still wouldn't be a pro. Pick one, pick one, pick a mistake. Oh, what's my biggest? You know what I was. This is when I was, I think I was under 13s. I was playing in some cup final. Um, I was playing left back. This is my first season playing fullback, yeah, like properly. And I was just fast, innit? And I had a, I had a chance through on goal. And it's like, imagine I, I played it to a man, but cause I was running so quick, like I kind of got there before him. So I shouted, leave it. And I, I just hit it wrong, bruv. We still won the final and that, but oh, that's not. Yeah, I was, <laughs> what are you doing? I, was, I like that. It was a romantic story. Last minute, over the bar, lose. Nah, man, that would have. 
I can't. I ain't. I ain't really been the reason like we've lost. Like you know them ones, but, but that goal there think, like, when a scout would have been there the... or something. Nah. No. Miles, go mm. back to any point in your life um, as a super jellyfish. Oh God. You probably can. <laughs> He's doing it right now. This is 87. He's just, <laughs> he just wants to be here. The version of Miles that we've got now ain't the version of Miles that he's actually living right now. Uh, that's cold. Uh, probably, uh, okay. Not not an age, but like you said, like a time in my life where I wouldn't sign a contract for Oliver Twist because I wouldn't know hindsight. Because <laughs> I, I already got I already got the. <laughs> 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 Very bad. <laughs> you man are broken. You man. Bre- you, you oh my god. You man are breaking. Are we still rolling? Um, Lumos, Lumos. Any point in your life? Mm. Back in time. I think either either twenty twenty sixteen. That was the other day. That was a very good year or that Kid Cudi album was making you be like mm-hmm. did Cudi drop an album in? no he didn't no but um he wasn't even on he was on a stairs. actually no he did he did Indie Card great album stairs actually album. no that wasn't that, that was 2013 that was, that was 2013 that was not Indie, Indie Card was, was a great, great album. album anyway but I'll probably go start a lockdown start of lockdown yeah you want to go back to start you're insane <laughs> <laughs> not even the end you know <laughs> Because I nah, but to be honest, lockdown start, was like start, oh start a lockdown. I was on the stairs. You was, was on the stairs. You was on the stairs. Whoa! <laughs> we ain't spoken about this. Let's talk about but this. Hold on, hold on. What? I was on the stairs, and why? Like now, I would have done it completely. I would have just known how to navigate. Well, why was you on the stairs though? And Let's also the way I was it. spending my time, it wasn't the best. Do you know what I'm saying? Why like, was I you on the stairs? Doing yeah, more investing and stuff. Your legs swinging in the air. I remember. No, that wasn't at the start of lockdown though. Yeah, that was the second phase. Um, what happened? You I was living alone. You was living I was alone. Living alone. There's a lot of stress, and because you was living alone, help him, Hamza. I'm, I'm trying to understand it. Yeah, yeah we're trying to watch. We, me and Hamza together therapy. We're trying to understand. Um, but yeah, so I would have just, I know, I just spent all my time gaming. Gaming, playing you what game? You did. No, I, that's what I did. Right. I literally just like, cause I was alone as well. So like. Cod GTA that was like any social time I had. Why was you alone? So my flatmate at the time, he was from Derby. So his office closed down, so he just went back home. So then I was just fully on my so own. You stressed, you just play game play game. Day. That's enough. I was just gaming, yeah. I'm going back to the end of lockdown. It's probably Lumos's fault. <laughs> Lost around two hundred grand in a in around four hours. That wasn't my fault because you made one of the dumbest <laughs> trades ever. <laughs> he made Dan made one of the dumbest trades ever. One of the dumbest every trades time, ever. Every time Dan would tell me about what he's doing with Bitcoin, I would say, stop. No, but Dan, the thing with Dan is, yeah, Dan was making good moves. He was making smart moves, and I just saw and then he made that. the stupidest trade. I thought, I, I, thought, trade. I thought by the end of the day, I'd be a millionaire. He made the dumbest trade. I've ever seen. 200k gone. KSI made the same dumb move. It's the same dumb move KSI did. I was way up though, way up from that. I was, I was like, I should have cashed that. This guy made a whole Telegram group lose their mind. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know, man. I'd go back to um, that game where Lippy missed. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> you just see Tigo on the sideline just watching. I like <laughs> Stored. <laughs> yeah. Simple. All right, do you know what I, this is the invention that is gonna change the world if someone manages to find a way to make it. We've got to be able to control our dreams, or at least do what we want in our dreams. We're sleeping, it's just dead space. I'm wasting That's eight hours a day. That's what lucid dreams are. Imagine, imagine you could like be productive in your sleep. But we can't, like, I'm just asleep. That's, but no, like, That's a good idea. Hamza, so you should get to work on that. So basically, uh, like, a <laughs> <He's> ro- <laughs> like a robot is working your dream. No. Huh? No. Yeah, like a robot is working your I dream. I quite like that. Yeah, so you can program your dream. Oh, okay. yeah. So yeah, you're yeah. basically doing something. Did you say no? Like he saved you there. He made Did it make sense. No, because I'll, I'll, I'll break <laughs> it down to you. So you're sleeping now, and your robot is going to do things that you need to, to be done. Boys? That was a great uh, bonus episode. Yeah, that was funny, man. That was great. Hamza, thanks for coming, man. You're welcome. Did he come here? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, 
appreciate your time. Feel fit5.com, subscribe to the channel. We've got some big stuff coming up.